Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about- uh, Bad fashion. Bad fashion. What is this? This is like a doily. This, this is like his grandma was like making him a shirt, but like forgot half of it. Oh, I'm a little senile. I'm gonna knit you a sweater, honey. That's what I'm gonna do. Thank God um, you didn't knit him a penis cozy. <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about, we're going to talk about uh, Hogwarts Legacy, Heartstopper, and Cancel Culture all in one video because apparently uh, this guy, Sebastian Croft, who is in Heartstopper, which is based on a webtoon, by the way, our daughter watches it on mm -hmm. Netflix, and uh, he's, he's getting some major blowback because it turns out that he's voicing characters in Hogwarts Legacy, oh no! Yeah, Simon Pegg's getting shit too. Oh no, how dare you, even though these people signed on years before J.K. Rowling, because the game's been in development for like well, five years. That's what he years. says. He's like, I, I, did, I did this like three years ago. Yeah, but anybody associated with this game in any capacity gets canceled. Uh, not that it's hurting the game sales at all, no. because the game, the, the pre-sale numbers are absolutely insane. But I mean, this is crazy. We've talked about how the developers working on the game, the people working on the game, have been canceled by gaming media. Um, they still want the Kotaku again? No, this is actually last year. Yeah, ironically enough, this is an archive of a Kotaku article talking about Troy Levitt, who they dug through his social media to find some dirt on him to get rid of so him. So it wasn't even com or, or Gamergate, it's anti-social justice. Yes, and Ian Walker, I think, got fired. I'm pretty sure he got fired from Kotaku, which is, you have to you have to F up pretty bad to get fired from Kotaku. Might have been Polygon. I think he worked for both at one point. So there was that, and then we had, of course, the um, social uh, media manager, I think it was social media manager for Limited Run Games, community manager. Community manager. Uh, getting gone because she said she liked Hogwarts Legacy. She was excited about the game. She was excited oh, no, about it. That wasn't what got her gone. Oh, then no. we had the 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 brony activist nut job who went and you know went through all, all her tweets for years. So they found one tweet they, they they thought was problematic and then screamed about that. So they got fired. Yeah, but I'm telling you, the catalyst was Hogwarts Legacy. No, but that's exactly what. It absolutely, was. Hogwarts Legacy, and we had to look for reason to support your opinion that she had to be fired because she was excited about Hogwarts Legacy. Um, when Robbie Coltrane, R.I.P. Who played Hagrid passed away. Twitter was happy. There were people on Twitter that were celebrating his death. It was absolutely disgusting. It is because, disgusting because he supported J.K. Rowling because you know he wasn't fashionable like his younger co-stars and didn't throw her under the wheels of the bus. There are people who don't, I don't agree with or they say things that I think are really, really, really asinine or shitty or whatever. And I, I, if they die, I don't celebrate it because you know. People are allowed to think what they want to think, and they're allowed to have their opinion. And we don't have to agree, but I can still feel for them and their family. Like I don't want people to die, you know. I that that's just you have to be a special kind of low life to celebrate somebody else's death because they didn't have an opinion you liked. Don't follow Star Trek actors on Twitter. Why? Because there oh, is oh that guy. I was I remember him from iCarly. Yeah, Tim Russ, and it was really disappointing because we, we we met him. We met him. We met him at a con years ago. He was we he were was, both guests at a convention. He was very nice uh, at the time, but then I think the TDS took hold. But he was celebrating the death of I can't remember. What was it Diamond and Sapphire? Is that their name? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't really follow the political talking heads, but one of them passed away. And he said that she was a conspiracy theorist and basically good. She's gone one I mean, less. You can say she's a conspiracy theorist. It's when you 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 celebrate someone's you death. Shouldn't that's, celebrate anybody's death. That's the issue. You don't have to agree. You can say I don't believe that. I don't agree with that. I think it's crazy. But you don't celebrating someone dying is not okay. So let's let's talk about how uh, Twitter now wants the heart stopper. One of the heart stopper stars. This guy apparently plays the bad guy. I'm not apparently. With yeah. it. We asked. We had to go ask Pinky Boo because we didn't watch it. It's like how oh my guy he plays the bad guy. I'm like oh, and they're probably like of course. Of course he plays the bad guy because we had the Slytherins like in the J.K. Rowling's too. Does he play the bad guy in the in the game? I don't know. I know in the in the I, I Heartstopper. He he, yeah, he in Heartstopper he plays the bad guy. But yeah, he he said uh, yeah he was you know contracted to do it Twitter's years ago. Years ago, Twitter's trying to cancel him. Of course, Errol, let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please anyway. subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over two hundred eighty-seven, almost two hundred. 88,000 subs. Thank you for the support. We do talk about pop culture. We've talked about Hogwarts Legacy at length because um, I'm I'm convinced it's going to kick off some kind of Gamergate type drama. I mean, it's all, like anybody that shows any support for this game whatsoever gets canceled. 
uh, gets harassed. They're going to probably mass flag all the videos people do. Like, I, they do I, gaming I, videos and things. They're going to probably mass flag them trying to get them taken down on YouTube. I have no no doubt whatsoever. I mean, but they're putting articles out like this. You know, is it possible to even enjoy Hogwarts Legacy if you're not a fan of J.K. Rowling? And a lot of media outlets are already saying they're not going to cover it. They're not going to give it any press. Uh, some subreddits have banned any discussion. This is game. ridiculous because J.K. Rowling wrote Harry Potter. And again, even that actor that was in the Heartstopper movie or show, whatever it was, said, you know, I did this years ago. It's like, and this is where I'm at, too. It's like, you know, if you want to say you're a man, I'll, I'll respect that. If you want to say you're a woman, I'll respect that. Not people won't. But I mean, I, it doesn't hurt me any if you want to say you're a dude or a woman. Okay, whatever. But. What I have a problem with is the fact that I'm not allowed to call myself a woman. I'm supposed to be a menstruating person. And then when she says, what, but you mean a woman? You can't call yourself that because some, you know, trans men might be offended because they menstruate too. And it's like, well, no, it's like, you're going to be a man. And I'm going to say you're, you want me to say you're a man. Okay, fine. You're a man. But I want to be identified as a woman and I'm not going to be identified as a vulva person. Or a vulvasaurus. A, a vulvanator. A vulvanator. Vulvanator. I'm gonna, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll Geeky is I, will, the I will identify as a vulvanator, but. Um, I'm not going to identify as something like that just to make somebody else happy when they get to be called a woman. That's bullshit. I think it's unfair, and I'm and, and I'll say so. And you'll be like, you're a thing, you know, transphobic, whatever. No, I'm not, because I I will say, fine, if you say you you want to, you identify as a woman, I'll be like, hey, fine, you're a woman. I don't care. You what makes you happy? You identify as a man. I will call you he him, and I will you know, it's no skin off my nose if you want to identify as a man. Whatever, don't care if it makes you happy. Okay, but I want to be called a woman, not a fucking menstruating person. Do yeah, what she said. What she said. Right. So anyway, speaking of, of, of women or wombats or woombas or whatever, uh, you know, JK. Whatever was, term you come up with as a woman, they'll probably take it too. Uh, you know, JK was fumbling for a word there. But yeah, they're, they're bringing up that, yeah, she is not directly involved in the game. No. But she makes money. And then they, they go on to be like, well, well. Pottermore, the digital publisher of Rowling's Wizard World, has suffered a 40% drop in profits. Pottermore, like nobody does that. That's no. Ki- that's kind of like that's kind of like Club Penguin for Harry Potter. Right. It's, it's it's no, I mean, some people do, but it's usually not one that's really, you know, popular with people anymore. Um, show me, show me the sales dropping off at Wizarding World and Universal. Mm-hmm. And you show me that people are boycotting Butterbeer because I got to tell you, we were there not too long ago and the line was around the freaking block. Mm-hmm. Most people don't even know about this. Most people don't even know about they're this. They're going to buy the game because it's like, oh, Harry Potter. Guess what? A lot of trans people buying the game because they're excited yes. about Harry Potter. Uh, show me show me that it's hurting the sales of the game any, you know, and it's clearly not hurting the sales of the game any. Uh, and it hasn't even come out yet for Switch, but the PS5 pre-sales and the Steam pre-sales are very, very good. So again, this is... Um, it is cult-like behavior. It's it's awful. And anybody associated on any level with this game is going to get canceled. And I'm telling you, this is going to kick off another Gamergate-type right. situation. And it like, already and like this person said, is. they did this work three years ago. Yeah, so it was announced last week that Croft will be voicing one of the two playable characters uh, in the action role-playing game published by Warner Brothers under Portkey Games, alongside Amelia Gething. Gething? Simon Pegg was confirmed to play Hogwarts Right, and I guess he's getting all kinds of shit now, too. Of course too. he is. However, many fans are threatening to boycott the release due to Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling's history of alleged transphobia. Lots of, so many people, so many people boycotting you know, it's, this game. It's a Streisand effect, you know, um, magnified to the umpteenth power because everybody is buying it now because they keep they keep having such a whiny hissy fit. All they're doing is even people who aren't going to buy the game are going out and buying the game. So, um, again, this guy is... Uh, you know, on an LGBTQ plus IA plus plus ultra show. <laughs> but did you see? Okay, I want to read the quote though. Okay. Read his quote. This is what he says. Sebastian Croft. This well, first he says, I believe wholeheartedly that trans women are women and trans men are men. He continued. I know far more now than I did three years ago and hope to learn far more in the next three years. I'm really sorry to hurt anyone by this announcement. There is no LGB without the T. Yeah, there is LGB. What about the QIA plus? Yeah, why does everybody forget the QIA plus? I mean, aren't you like, aren't you being phobic towards those people? I'm just a plus. I'm a plus ultra. Oh, I can't even. Uh, I am. But, you're, but if people you're, do... vulva, you're a vulvanator plus. Yes, right. Plus ultra. So, um, 
basically, don't cancel me because I agreed to do this three years ago before she said something else stupid that everybody's pissed about. And, you know. Yeah, because everybody keeps bring, you know, bringing up the fact that, like, yeah, even though she was involved, she still gets paid. I hate to break it to you. Anything Harry Potter or Wizarding World from now until the end of time, she's got one of the best contracts in the industry. She will get paid. Her estate will get After she's gone, her kids, her grandkids, her great-grandkids are going to make Munner. Munner? That's Munner. wizarding money. Munner? Money. They're going to make money off of Harry Potter. Yes, and there's, there's a reason why that when you get a deal now, they have clauses in it for theme park rights and different yeah. things like that because of her contract. Yeah, which is uh, pretty, pretty crazy. So here we go. Um, oh, my God. So I apparently I'm blocked by somebody I don't even know on here. What would you do? I don't know. You're unable to view a tweet. Either that or they went private. So, yeah, here are the quote tweets. Heartstopper star Sebastian Croft says there's no LGBT without the T. No, LGB without the T. LGB without the T. And apologizes for the hurt caused by the revelation. Concludes statement with, says the straight man. I don't Ooh. know. I, 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 don't know. I don't think many men, straight men wear that shirt. But okay. I don't. That doesn't look well, like Well, you know what? To be fair, there's not a lot of gay men who would wear that shirt either. They have better taste. If his grandma made it for him, it's like Ralphie. I think the, he shops. He shops where Ezra Miller shops. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Granny core. Granny core. I really wish that people had stopped pretending. Maybe he made it himself. Maybe he did. Maybe he tried. Maybe he's trying to knit himself. Because a lot of people are doing that now. Anyway. I don't know. Uh, for TikTok, right? Uh, pretend like LGB was built upon the backs of T. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. T doesn't have anything to do with sexuality. So now people are fighting amongst themselves. Dude, they always devolve to eating themselves. Look at the TRA and trans quote tweets. They never forgive. They never forget. You'll be 30 and they'll still be bleeding on about your indiscretion. That's, That's I mean, trouble to, with religion. To be, to be, you know, it is like a religion. And to be fair, he did not know at the time. Nobody that worked in this game knew at the time that J.K. Rowling was going to say what she said. And that's because J.K. Rowling said what she said and it pissed you off. is not the fault of all these other people. There is no LGB without the T. Just call me a slur. Followed by, I, a trans man, accept your apology. Accepts your apology. Just be careful next. Be careful. We're watching you. We're watching you now. The way his apology is basically, whoops, sorry, I didn't care about trans people three years ago. Anyway, here's a meaningless statement. That's with not no how real it came substance. across at all. It sounds to me like it's a gig. <gasps> it's a gig. Sorry, I was distracted by cuteness. Oh. The squirrel hates you. Oh my god, that squirrel hates no one. No. That squirrel is 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 the, the acceptance squirrel. Oh, I want to hug it. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so fluffy. He is fluffy. That is a chubby, fluffy I squirrel. Want to hold him. He shouldn't need to apologize. I want to hug him. Look at that face. You're talking about the squirrel, not not yes, Sebastian. He's so cute. I'm sorry, I can't help it. You might want to squirrel away from the squirrel quickly. Okay, let's, let's hide the <gasps> squirrel. He shouldn't need to apologize. It also comes across as him regretting his involvement with Hogwarts Legacy. I'm sure he does now. I love him, but it's not a good feeling to have someone who's not proud to be involved to be the voice of my character, especially since everyone else is super proud of Hogwarts Legacy. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry you were offended. I'm sorry you feel that way. Coming back to this, and bro really said sorry if you're offended. Maybe actually if you're feeling that way, sorry you could pay for my top surgery to make up for it. What? You hurt too many people. For you doing what? For voicing a character three in a game. Three years ago. <laughs> this is the most performative shit ever. Oh my God. Oh, here's the apology. It still doesn't honestly feel genuine. I'm sorry to hurt anyone. Sounds very close. I'm sorry if anyone was offended. Oh, <laughs> Aren't get these, the fuck over it! Get the fuck on Mastodon or Hive. Weren't these people all going to leave Twitter? I thought they were all going to leave if Twitter. If you're so offended, you're offended by that. You should be offended by his outfit. I need a cute squirrel. It sucks because I was a massive fan of yours, but I can't accept this bash. She's been publicly anti-trans since long before you accepted the role. No, Actually, it wasn't. It's only been like two years that uh, she said shit. I don't know. Womp womp. Just him throwing around phrases. I hate fake statements. Well, what? Most of you people are fake ass. It's ridiculous. Oh, God. Sounds like you know less. How did you unlearn biology? <laughs> <laughs> Three years ago was 2020, not 2000. At what point are you just an idiot? She Look, if she was saying that shit, like, I, that's the first I heard it was, like, two years ago. If she was saying stuff like that back in 2000, by, by now, I think she would have been canceled. You know, here's the kicker, though. Most people aren't 
on every statement she makes on Twitter. Most people aren't even on Twitter, which is they're just further proving our point that normies aren't on Twitter anyway. So this person might not, even if she was making the comments, might not have known because they didn't live and breathe by the people's what they were offended by that hour, that minute on Twitter. People are going to buy this game. They're not going to know who the hell this guy is. At all. They're just going to be like, oh, it's care. the character I'm playing. Hollywood's not going to care. They'll Hollywood be like, oh, you put care. an apology out. We're good. Yeah. They're not going to care. They don't give two shits about you people. Most of us don't. We're talking about people on Twitter, by the right. way. We're not, we're not talking about the LGBT community. We're talking about Twitter. Nobody cares about Twitter anymore. It's starting to get to the point where, like we did a video earlier talking about Mindy Kaling. And uh, she's out there saying shit. And HBO's like, here, have another season. Have another season. Oh, this next call, I'm trans and I said, well, apology won't do. You need to donate some of the money you got. <laughs> Fuck you. This is thing the is, thing. They're you never apologize. Gonna stop. They're never because you apologize. Stop. You apologize. How you deal with these people is you either don't answer them at all or you turn it around on them. But here's the joke. Look at the engagement and these people's comments. Not Seven much. likes, Seven, four, four likes, 13. Like nobody fucking cares. Nobody cares that you're angry that some guy on some show on Netflix based on some webtoon is voicing a character in a game that pays some woman that you don't like because she said some stuff on Twitter a couple of years ago. Nobody cares. They don't care. If you really are that interested in activism, go do something more productive with your time than stalking people on fucking Twitter. Besides, you're supposed to leave Twitter anyway, right? Because you're just putting money in Elon Musk's pocket. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. You're supposed to hate him now, right? Well, I love this one. You, you, you're overlooking the anti-Semitism because of the goblins. Oh, fuck off. Seriously. These people are it just... It doesn't matter. And any of you, just, just, you find ways to disprove anything else. They'll find something else to be pissed about. No matter what, they have to find something to be pissed about. They have to latch onto something because their whole identity is wrapped around hating something and being pissed about it and saying that, they, that, that, that they're the champions of justice. But in reality, they're just a bunch of shitbags on Twitter screaming about bullshit. Cis allies are so sick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We hate you all. You Again, know, there's, some, there's jack shit interaction. No. Yeah. Nobody cares. You're screaming. <laughs> nobody cares. You are screaming into a void. Uh, this game is going to sell like gangbusters. Do you know what people care about, though? They, you know what they really care about? They care about... It's way up there. I know what you're looking for. <laughs> they care about that. They care about this face. If you get interaction, you, that's what this is about. I'm going to put a cute squirrel on there so some people will give me interaction. I'm giving you interaction, but There's I like no the likes. squirrel. Don't like it because I don't want to be accused of hating this guy. I don't even know who this guy is, but I don't want to be hating him. But that squirrel's looking into your soul. It's the squirrel of, a, of a kindness. Squirrel of kindness. That's the squirrel of, 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 he didn't probably bite you, but that's that's okay. I'd still try to pick him up and then I'd say, oh, my friend. Everybody needs to look into the eyes of the squirrel of kindness and stay off of Twitter. That's mm -hmm. what you need to do if you're going to be like that. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah. Yeah, so here if just, we didn't even talk about Simon Pegg getting jumped on. He's getting jumped on too. Oh my god. Do you want to talk about Simon Pegg? Nah, it's okay. He probably told him to fuck off like he usually Simon does. Pegg would. Yeah. He Simon Pegg just, can handle it. He usually just tells him to fuck off. I just think it's ironic that this person with this audience working on this show based on this comic is getting this much pushback because of uh voicing a character on they probably a hero well they were a bad guy but you know what i mean they were on that show and they were like oh your representation yay like two days ago before it was announced that they worked on the show don't you see how these people always turn on you i mean ask jk how that that worked out for her i mean she kowtowed to this audience for a while and they ate her alive and they're mm -hmm. gonna continue to eat her alive until they grow the fuck up or lose you know 30 40 of their old accounts mm -hmm. and then we realize it's like 10 people that are pissed off <laughs> you know, at the end of the day so we're gonna wrap this up yep uh please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys we'll talk later bye